gastric cancer is one of the most common cancer. It's the fifth leading cause of cancer worldwide. With highest incidences, the rates are in the Eastern Asia, Mongolia, China, Japan, and South Korea. So Japan remains the pioneer in the in the in the research and development that has happened in the field of gastric cancer, whether it be it, uh, the surgical plan, be it uh, the role of chemotherapy, be it the role of endoscopy in the management of early cancer, be it the role of screening. So no one can beat Japan in the in the you know the guidelines and research in terms of management of gastric cancer. So it's the fourth leading cause of cancer related mortality, and you can see from this graph that. The incidence of gastric cancer is declining as, as compared to other cancers. They are on a rise. But gastric cancer, in general, the, the incidence is declining probably because of early, um, you know, the changing lifestyle and early detection. Next slide. So it is more common in males, almost twice as common as compared to females. There is some occupational risk, like various industrial processes where there may be some hazardous ingestion of some toxic chemicals uh, that can also cause erosion of uh, G-junction and stomach. So they are at risk of developing gastric cancer. The median age is around 50 to 70 years. But in our country, we do see a median age, which is which is at least a decade, decade earlier. And the more younger the patient, the more, more aggressive the disease, the more bad the disease prognosis is. Next slide. So gastric neoplasm usually arises from the epithelium of the gastric mucosa. Few of the gastric cancer can arise from the mesenchymal tissue. So it can be divided broadly into benign and malignant. So our concern is the malignant part. Benign include benign polyp. Uh, like hyperplastic polyps and benign tumors like leomyoma and lipoma. Malignant includes primary primary adenocarcinoma. Next, uh, so this is the most common adenocarcinoma. It's the most common gastric cancer, around 90%. And then we can see what is called as GIST. GIST is basically a sarcoma. It is called as gastrointestinal stromal tumor. The, the characteristic feature of GIST is that it is detected early because the patient usually presents with bleeding tendencies. And the third one is lymphoma. So we do get certain forms of lymphoma also that can that can also arise in the stomach. So basically all gastric cancer, they are not adenocarcinoma. There are certain rare cancer like GIST and lymphoma that can also be seen. And secondly, we can see secondary tumor that is invasion from, from adjacent tumor. That is if, if the patient is arising, from, if the tumor is arising from gallbladder or pancreas, that tumor can can invade the stomach also so because all these organs are adjacent. Next slide. So there are certain characteristic risk factors that is associated with gastric cancer. The predisposing factors include the presence of pernicious anemia and presence of atrophic gastritis. Here the acid, the stomach acid, which is normally protective, it is not produced. If the patient has a history of previous gastric resection, and those patients who have chronic peptic ulcer disease, which is very common, around 1% of this can convert to gastric cancer. And smoking, chronic smoking, chronic alcohol, it is associated not only with gastric cancer, but is associated with almost more than 20 cancers. And there are certain, the traditional risk factor, that is the H. pylori infection. So it is classically associated with stomach cancer. So it is not a one-time thing. It is... Uh, there is a proper pre-neoplastic cascade that happens before the patient ultimately develops cancer. So the pre-neoplastic ca cascades like there is presence of atrophic gastritis, then dysplasia, and then finally carcinoma. So the presence of seropositivity increases the risk of uh, uh, causing H. pylori, causing gastric cancer. Low socioeconomic status is associated with increased risk. The risk and as I discussed, Japan the, the incidence in, is high in Japan. And there are certain genetic diseases that is associated with gastric cancer. Blood group A is associated with an increased risk. Then there's something called as diffuse gastric cancer syndrome, which is associated with gastric and stomach cancer. So these hereditary syndromes, they can run in families. Then there is familial intestinal gastric cancer and other rare form like HNPCC, hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer. It can also have stomach cancer as an association.